All right, guys. Um, whoa. I think that's the last video I edited. Um, anyway, so I'm on my DSLR right now. I figured out all the camper options. I'm right. It has a 4K. This can go up to 4K, but I only have it at 1080p at 60 frames a second. But I finally figured out how to get it to automatic focus. It's probably going to be annoying in the video. I'll see if you can hear it or not. Maybe I'll put music in this little probably four minute video over it to see if it'll kind of help block it out. I'm trying to hold the camera steady as possible. Um, but yeah, so today I'm making a vlog uh, and that's still using my GoPro because I don't want to use this camera too much. So I'm using my GoPro up there. Um, and then I'm going to make a detailing video on my mom's pilot. This will just be the wash video. And then I'm going to try and clean this room up a little bit. Put that in today's vlog a little. And then I'm also working on getting my old GoPro charged and getting all my GoPro accessories ready to go down with me to the mountains. Um, so yeah, it ought to be pretty uh, pretty fun. Um, this video I'm just going to put up, it's going to be like two minutes, just testing out this camera. I have my Rode Video Micro on a Nikon D3300 on a basically uh, Gorilla Pod. I'm buying a tripod for it. And then this is the, I think it's 65 millimeter, it's a 55, 18 through 55 milliliter millimeter auto adjust lens and all that cool stuff um i got this for christmas like three years ago and i've never used it as vlogging just because it's so expensive this kit was and i don't want to break it um so it'll be used as my light videos so uh yeah i hope you guys like this video uh leave some comments on what you think of the sound quality with this camera whether it's with rode video micro on this camera what do you think of the image quality if that autocorrect is annoying um, I won't have it on autocorrect when I'm doing still shots because then I can just use the uh, part-time semi-focus, which is when I click the focus button and let it focus on one thing, and then it'll stay there the rest of the video until I click that button again. So uh, yeah, hopefully this camera, this film, this footage won't be too shaky. Um, I'm looking at gimbals too to start using this camera because you know that new GoPro Hero Six, it's got that amazing autofocus and or auto gimbal inside it and stuff great technology great technology anyway tell me what you think about this camera and whether i should keep using it in these videos in the comments below hit a like if you liked it hit a dislike if you disliked it and tell me why uh how i can improve these videos and then please like no please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get all my latest videos and i'll see you guys in the next one peace